So now I am asking one question that have you ever thought that usually usually how is the multiple child birth from a single pregnancy single pregnancy is prevented naturally because only one pregnancy only one child is giving birth giving birth to only one child now so taking birth and why is this multiple child birth not occurring and what is preventing it and what are atriatic follicles the answer is as we to go in the concept as I have said there are nearly 6 to 12 growing follicles there will be nearly 6 to 12 growing follicles in one cycle and these growing follicles among these only one will mature to form the mature follicle and that get ovulated and that get ovulated so to secrete the oocyte secondary oocyte and so form only one zygote if if uh, if two will get and then the two zygotes will form so only one is formed no? so only one zygote is formed so as only one of the 12 are mature are forming into the mature follicle and giving the only one second oocyte is from the one zygote so that is how multiple child birth is, is prevented naturally and the question here is what happened what happened to remaining 5 to 11 the answer is these 5 to 11 they get involuted by the process known as process known as atresia and so they got the name called atretic atretic follicles so this is how all these things are taking place so I hope you have understood all these things. Let us move on. So in this slide, we are going to learn the ovarian cycle in a nutshell. Because ovarian cycle is very very important as well as the basics are very important as well. So in order to understand this ovarian cycle, let us go through, through this in a nutshell. So about every 28 days, that is a, we are going in the concept of cycle that is the next cycle every 28 days gonadotropic hormones what are the gonadotropic hormone lh and fsh and from the anterior pituitary gland causes 8 to 12 new follicles to begin growing the ovaries as we have already discussed and only one of these follicles finally becomes mature and ovulates on the 14th day of the cycle so let us write the timeline here so if you see here 7 plus 7 this is a days 2 weeks if you consider this and and first these 2 weeks what is happening follicular development happening so this is a follicular phase and on the 14th day on the 14th day what is happening ovulation is happening okay and this is you can add one and then the next 12 days next 12 days is known as a luteal phase we have already discussed and just now i am giving the timeline okay to get and to understand that and last two days the menstruation occurs okay so if you add all these things you will get nearly 28 to 29 days okay but after menstruation soon after menstruation this will again repeat with another cycle so again repeat with another cycle okay. this is known as ovarian cycle so this is the concept behind the ovarian cycle so if you proceed here after ovulation 
The secretory cells of the ovary cycles develop into the corpus luteum. All these are taking place in the luteal phase. And that secretes large quantities of male or female hormones like progesterone and estrogen. After another two weeks, that is nearly 12 days, the corpus luteum degenerates, whereupon the ovarian hormones progesterone and estrogen decreases greatly and menstruation begins. This is the menstruation day. And with this, a new ovarian cycle then follows. This is how all these things are taking place in the ovarian cycle. This is the nutshell. You have to have a clear idea, basic concept. Only then you can proceed. So with this, we end our today's class. And uh, thank you for watching me. And keep supporting. Have a nice day. Goodbye.